Hello, welcome to another video on Inkscape. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create this Celtic knot design. I'm going to start off by building up our Celtic knot, and then I'm going to show you how you can break it down into purely an outline or into a solid color design like this one. Stick with us. So to get started on our Celtic design, first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the page border. So I'm going to come up to document properties and I'm going to come down and untick show page border we can get rid of that then just to make things easier I'm going to come up to the top here and I'm going to click on the um, fill in stroke dialog box so we've got that handy should we need it and to set up our workspace I'm going to drag in the guide from the side to about midway just so we can use this to align our design. So the first thing I want to do is draw the central circle. So I'm going to come over to the ellipse tool. I'm going to hold down control to constrain, constrain it to a circle. We can drag out a circle to the size we want, about so big. Now we need to be able to snap this center to our guide. To do this, we need to come over to the snapping on the right hand side and we need to make sure that we've got snapping to midpoints snapping to rotational centers and we've got snapping to guides already enabled at the bottom here so if we grab our selection tool we can get hold of our circle and we can drag it over till it snaps to the midpoint here so the next stage i'm going to create a stroke around this it's a nice size for our design if we go over to our stroke style we can increase this to perhaps let's try 10 see what that looks like it's quite a nice size perhaps a little bit more so i'll go perhaps 12. I think I like that. So I'm going to come down to the bottom here. I'm going to click on the X just to get rid of the fill color and I'm going to reduce the opacity slightly. So when we overlap our designs, we can see what's going on. At this point, I want to start making the other elements of our design. So all I'm going to do for that is to press control D to duplicate our circle. I'm going to hold down control to constrain the movement to vertical or horizontal and I'm going to move it off to the side to about there I think. Now I want the other circles in the design to be the same distance from the center so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to click on it again to get my rotational center. If we take this now hold on to our rotational center we can drag it over until it snaps to the midpoint of our first circle. So if we press Control D to duplicate our circle get hold of one of the rotation handles hold down Control and that will constrain it to increments 15 degrees if it's still set to default, which mine is at the moment. Then we can press Ctrl D to duplicate again. Hold down Ctrl again to drag it round till it's in the right place. Ctrl D to duplicate again. Get hold of our rotation handle. Hold down Ctrl and drag it round. So if you've got a nodes tool and come over and just hover over, you can see the stroke is in the center of, of the darker design that we want. So what we're going to do is convert this stroke into a path in its own right. So we need to select all of our circles. So we grab the selection tool. I'm just going to drag a box over all of them to select them all. We can then come up to path and down to stroke to path. So what that's done, if we grab our nodes tool now, we're better to see, oh, I've turned off the show paths. So we can see now that we've got a path on the outside of our circles. So the next stage is to cut our design up into these individual elements. So first thing I'm going to do with them all selected is come up to path and down to combine to combine them all together. I'm going to get rid of the fill color. So I'm just going to come down here, press on the cross. I'm going to hold down shift, give it a black stroke so we can see things. I'm going to come up. I'm going to grab the rectangle tool. I'm going to draw a rectangle over the top of the whole lot like so. If I just right click down here, we can change the stroke width. I'm going to give that a, a color. So we give it this pale blue color and I want to drop it behind our design. So I'm going to grab the selection tool and I'm going to come over to this one so we can drop selection to the bottom. So now that's sitting behind our design, we can hold down shift and we can select our design. Then we can come up to path down to division to chop it into sections. So now each of these sections is a path in its own right. So what we can do is start getting rid of all the sections that we don't want. So I'm going to click off. I'm going to hold down my Alt key and then I'm just going to drag a line to get rid of some of these 
these elements that we don't want. Everything that the line crosses will be selected when we release. And then we can press delete and get rid of them. Or we can hold down shift. We can, I need to zoom in a little bit for this one. We can hold down shift and we can select multiple elements and delete them all at once. Let's zoom in a bit, I can't seem to get hold of those. Do seem to have these little artifacts for some reason. I'm not sure why that's happened. So we zoom back out. Now we've got to this stage, we need to union together the sections that we want to be combined into one. Hold down Alt, drag over the ones you want. Path, union. And we just continue doing this until we've created our full design. And last one. So that's created our basic design. We can now, if you want to, there's a section there that I've missed. So if we get that, we'll just press delete, get rid of that one. So we've got our overlapping sections. We have got some little defects in our design for some reason. Not sure why that's happened. Let's just see if we can get rid of some of those. So to get rid of these, what I'm doing is I'm just selecting the node in the center and click on it to select it. And then we can just press delete to get rid of the node. And what happens, it tries to mimic what was there before. So you get these handles sticking out. So you've still got a lump. So what we can do is if we hold down control and click on to the handle, it'll take it back into the node. So we get this straighter line. So if we just go around, select them, delete it, hold down control and click on the handles. We can correct our paths. Like I say, I'm not 100% sure why this has happened, but we get rid of them anyway. So there we've got our basic design. What we could do is just thicken up the stroke around the outside. Now, as you can see, we've got a huge amount of nodes. One way to get rid of some of these nodes is to simplify. So you could go to path um, and down to simplify. Unfortunately, it looks like we'd have a bit more work to correct some of the defects that it forms. So I'm going to con control Z to backstep it. I'm not overly fussed about how many nodes we got. It's not a, a huge design, so we just stick with it, I think. If we get the selection tool, I'm going to bring the opacity right up uh, to darken all our, our strokes. And I'm going to thicken the stroke on all of these so we get a darker outline. So to do that, we can do it even stroke style up here. So at the moment, they're set at one. So perhaps we change that to three and perhaps I'll go 2.5 actually. See if we can get the holes back in. Just going to zoom in. I just want to make sure that we can still see the holes. Oh, there we go. We've got a very small hole in each of these. I'm just going to group all these together. So we we'll press group and group them together as one. So that's our basic design. So what I'm quickly going to show you before I go is just how you can get rid of this stroke but keep the gap between the filled sections. So to do this, I'm just going to duplicate our design. So I'm going to press with it select, I'm going to press Control D to duplicate it. So we've got a copy. We can bring that one over. We can zoom in a touch. Now with it selected, we can go to path, stroke to path. So again, it seems to have created a few little defects. So I'm just going to correct those. So if we zoom in a touch, get my nodes tool. I'm going to select this one, zoom right in so I can see what's going on. Grab that one and drag it down. Grab that one and drag it over. Where were the others? Up there. Oh, there's the other one. So select this one first. We can just drag that back into the black. With those corrected, I'm going to hold down shift. I'm just going to go around selecting all of the stroked paths. When we do this, make sure you select the stroke path and not the actual coloured path, so the fill path. Oh, so I think we've got them all. So I'm going to go up to path and down to combine to combine them all together. So if we zoom back out, so now we've union together all of the outlines. We can either keep it as an outline if you want to use it in CreCut. So if we press Control D to duplicate, I'll zoom back out again. I'm going to get hold of that and I'm just going to drag off our duplicate off to the side. So we now have 
this design or if we come back over here I'm going to zoom back in on our design this time I'm going to hold down shift and I want to select all of the blue elements so if we click on this one it says one I'm going to hold down the shift and we just go around select all of these once they're all selected we can go up to path uh, combine combine them all together so we select our blue design and then I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to select the stroke design because the stroke design is on top of the blue design we can then come up to path and down to difference and it will cut the black lines away from the blue design so if we click off now we give that a darker color so from our single design we've now broken it down into three separate um, designs that we can use we've got the solid line uh, we've got the border and we've got the combined border and infill color just to show you um, what these designs look like with the background color if we come over and we grab our rectangle tool we draw a large rectangle over the top of the whole lot we give it a lighter color and then we've got our selection tool and we drop it down to the bottom just so you can clearly see the difference in the designs this one's purely outline this one's solid and this one you've got the combination of the outline and the solid color i hope that's been helpful thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video